Jeff Bezos sells Amazon stock valued at billions of dollars. Over the past three days, Jeff Bezos has sold shares in Amazon for more than $4 billion. In a document filed with federal authorities, the founder and executive chairman of Amazon stated that on February 7 and 8, he sold about 12 million shares of the company for a total value of more than $2 billion. Based on the reported price totals, the shares of the IT behemoth were valued at just over $2.04 billion in total. Five blocks containing 1 million to more than 3.2 million equities each were used to organize the stocks. Days before, according to documents, he had sold an additional 12 million shares for about the same amount. Amazon said last week that Bezos will sell up to 50 million of his company's shares, which are valued at an estimated $8.4 billion on the market. The company's most recent annual report states that Bezos intends to complete the selling plan, which was approved on November 8 of last year, by January 31, 2025. To devote more time to his other endeavors, such as his philanthropic work and the rocket startup Blue Origin, the billionaire resigned from his position as CEO of Amazon in 2021. The billionaire disclosed in 2022 that he intended to donate the majority of his $124 billion wealth during his lifetime. Mr. Bezos told that he and his fiancée, the journalist-turned-philanthropist Lauren Sanchez, were building the capacity to be able to give away this money. He said the money would go to causes that work to tackle climate change and to support people who can unify humanity. Former Dutch international footballer sentenced to six years in prison for drug trafficking. Quincy Proms, a former football player for the Netherlands and a former target of Manchester United, was given a six-year prison sentence in absentia for cocaine trafficking. The 32-year-old, who plays for Spartak Moscow in the Russian Premier League, was found to have been engaged in the import and export of hundreds of kilos of cocaine in 2020, according to a ruling by the Amsterdam District Court. Proms, who resides in Moscow, is not anticipated to visit the Netherlands anytime soon and did not attend his trial in the nation's capital. Due to his role in the smuggling of 1,360 kilograms of cocaine into the Netherlands through the port of Antwerp in Belgium throughout two shipments, prosecutors had requested courts to sentence him to nine years in prison. The court stated that phone tapping evidence demonstrated Proms's direct involvement in the drug shipments, which were masked as shipments of Brazilian salt, and their subsequent transportation from the port. A written ruling from the court also said that Proms, a highly compensated football player with a large following on social media, became engaged in the drug importation. This makes it even more objectionable that the suspect tries to increase his wealth, and possibly also prestige in certain circles, through involvement in large international drug transports," the court said. Proms's attorneys informed judges that he refuted the accusations of importing, exporting, carrying, and owning the narcotics. The football player will appeal his punishment, they informed the Dutch tabloid AD. In a different Dutch court case from 2020, he stabbed his cousin in the knee during a dispute and was found guilty of assault last year, receiving an 18-month jail term in absentia. Additionally, Proms has appealed that sentence. The former Ajax and Sevilla forward made 50 appearances and scored seven times for the Dutch national side, but was struck from the team after he was charged with trafficking in 2021. The Body Shop enters administration threatening more than 2,000 jobs. The Body Shop's UK division has gone into administration, endangering over 2,000 jobs and retail locations. Shortly after the new owners took over the cosmetics shop, FRP Advisory was brought in to conduct a restructuring process, as was previously reported. The Body Shop has over 200 stores throughout the UK, and it's thought that up to 100 of them may be close to matching the number of stores with rivals like Lush, which operates 104 locations in the UK and Ireland. A body shop statement said, administrators will now consider all options to find a way forward for the business and will update creditors and employees in due course. The business will continue to trade in administration. Ensuring customers will be able to continue to shop in-store and online for their favorite products. It added, the administration provides the stability, flexibility and security to find the best means of securing the future of the body shop and revitalizing this iconic British brand. 
The body shop has faced an extended period of financial challenges under past owners, coinciding with a difficult trading environment for the wider retail sector. The body shop employed 2,568 people in the UK in 2022, of whom 927 worked in administrative positions and 1,641 worked in stores, according to the most recent financial statements. There is no effect on the brand's international franchise partners. The British chain was purchased by Aurelius, a private equity group, in November for an alleged $260 million. The Body Shop had over 10,000 employees worldwide and about 3,000 outlets spread across 70 countries at the time of the acquisition. Despite years of struggling to develop profitably, it is nevertheless recognizable on British high streets. It was founded in 1976 by Dame Anita Roddick and her husband Gordon, championing environmental causes and opposing animal testing. It was owned by L'Oreal between 2006 and 2017 before being sold to Brazilian cosmetics group Natura. Man charged after a flying without a ticket or passport from London to New York. After reportedly taking a plane from London to New York without a ticket or passport, a man has been accused. Craig Sturt arrived at Heathrow Airport, went through passport control and security checks without presenting any paperwork and boarded the British Airways aircraft just before Christmas. Upon arriving at JFK Airport, the 46-year-old was halted and returned to the United Kingdom. There, he was apprehended and accused of fraud and offenses under the Aviation Security Act. According to the allegations, Sturt entered Heathrow's Terminal 5 airside and boarded the Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner without having paid for a ticket. He was scheduled to receive a sentencing at Uxbridge Magistrates Court in January, according to court records, but he failed to show up, leading to the issuance of an arrest warrant. Thames Valley Police received a missing persons complaint on January 25. On January 31, the Met assumed responsibility for the case and is still in charge of the investigation. On December 24, 2023, police were made aware of an alleged breach of security at Heathrow Airport and a male was subsequently arrested and later charged with fraud and Aviation Security Act offenses. We continue to work with all our partners to review and enhance the already robust security measures in place which are kept under constant review by the wider security partnership, the force said in a statement. According to the Met, Sturt arrived in the UK on a flight from New York at around 8 p.m. on Christmas Day. He was charged with obtaining services by deceit, being unlawfully airside, and boarding an aircraft without authority. A Heathrow spokesperson said, all people who go airside are subject to security screening, including the individual involved in this case. We are supporting the authorities with their ongoing investigation. We are assisting the authorities with their investigation. After coughing up liters of blood, man dies on Lufthansa flight. On a Bangkok to Munich plane, a guy reportedly coughed up liters of blood before passing away, according to other passengers. Witnesses said that the German national, who is believed to be 63 years old, appeared sick as soon as he and his spouse stepped onto the Lufthansa plane on Thursday. The man looked to be having difficulty breathing and was profusely sweating. However, according to reports, his companion informed the crew that he was fit to travel despite being exhausted from hurrying to make the planes. Passenger Martin Misfelder said the man's condition rapidly deteriorated soon after takeoff and he began spitting blood into a bag before it began gushing out of his mouth and nose. He told Swiss news outlet Blick, it was absolute horror, everyone was screaming. Mr. Misfelder said the man lost liters of blood and the walls of the plane were splattered. The man was confirmed dead after a half hour of attempts at CPR by the flight crew. An hour and a half into the 12-hour flight, the Airbus A380 airliner turned around and headed back to the capital of Thailand. According to Mr. Misfelder, Blick saw a chaos following the plane's landing. The saddest part, he continued, was witnessing the deceased man's widow enduring all the formalities while traveling through customs by herself. A spokesperson for Lufthansa told, although immediate and comprehensive first aid measures were taken by the crew and a doctor on board, the passenger died during the flight. Our thoughts are with the relatives of the deceased passenger. We also regret the inconvenience caused to the passengers of this flight.
The airline added that all affected passengers were booked onto alternative flights for the journey home. United States State Records Rare Case of Human Plague in Eight Years Health officials in Oregon have reported that a person has been diagnosed with the plague, marking the first human case in the U.S. state in almost eight years. The most frequent way that the disease-causing bacteria, Yersinia pestis, is exposed to people is through flea bites. According to Deschutes County Health Services, the individual may have contracted the infection through other channels, but it may have started with their cat, who may have been bitten by an infected flea. Experts stated that the illness is very easily treated with simple antibiotics. Deschutes County Health Officer Dr. Richard Fawcett stated that there was no substantial risk to the public and that he would be very surprised if any more instances surfaced. He said that the cat thought to be connected to the Oregon case had been extremely ill, but it was unclear if the virus had been transferred from the animal to the owner. According to Dr. Fawcett, several medical professionals have indicated that the patient may have started coughing while receiving treatment in the hospital, this might indicate that the patient has the pneumonic form of the plague, which is spread among people. It was most certainly a lymph node infection, but the owner had responded very well to antibiotic therapy, Dr. Fawcett continued. Along with fever and muscular pains, swollen and painful lymph nodes can be an early sign of the illness. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, estimates that there are seven human plague cases in the U.S. annually. In Colorado, there were four instances of the plague in 2014 that included persons who had come into touch with an infected pit bull terrier. Instances can also involve other pets, such as dogs. The final instance in Oregon in 2015 included a youngster who was allegedly bitten by a flea while out hunting. The majority of plague cases, according to the CDC, occur in semi-arid woods and grasslands that are home to rodents. In Deschutes, the most recent example included a resident of a rural location with open land not far away. A previous study found that during the Black Death, which killed between 75 and 200 million people in medieval Europe between 1346 and 1353, humans were most likely to blame for the plague's spread. Little historical and archaeological support existed, according to researchers, for the theory that rats carried the plague. <laughs>